So in this section, we'll see how we can actually extend the chains that we have written so far and how we can continually add on more and more runnables. So I've already populated the code as you can see right here. We are working with the same prompt uh, as the previous section, but I've just given it a slightly better name. I've also added a few more prompts here, but actually let's just go to the chain itself right here and see what we're doing. We'll take it from the ground up, okay? So the first three runnables we've already uh, done, right? Uh, so basically we're just going to, uh, we just have the first prompt, which is going to tell the model to generate a certain number of facts about a certain animal, right? So in this case, two facts about cats. And uh, we're extracting the content alone right here. Okay, great. So now we have two facts. So what next? So let's say based on my use case, I run a French Twitter page and actually not an English Twitter page, right? But the response that we would have gotten from the model is going to be in English, right? So now the next thing that I want to do is send that text to an LLM and ask the LLM to convert it into French, okay? So to hit that LLM, what do we want to do before that? We want to always do one thing, right? We need a prompt template that is going to tell the LLM to translate it to a certain language, right? So what input does the prompt template require? It requires an object like this to be passed into it, right? A prompt template always requires an object that needs to be passed into it, right? But is the result of this string output parser an object? Of course not, right? It only has the content string, right? So we need to prepare the input so that we can actually prepare the uh, prepare to pass it inside of the prompt template, right? So what we've done here is that we have written a runnable called prepare for translation that takes the output of the previous task. And then uh, you can see it also provides the output as well as the language and then returns it as an object to the next task. Right. So now that object goes inside of the prompt template. Okay. It says that you're a translator and your job is to convert the text to a certain language. So we have provided the text as well as the language in the object. Now the final prompt will be generated as well. Right. So now that the prompt is now sent to the model, which now gets invoked and we finally get the content printed to the console. Right. So that is how simple it is. Let's actually run this file. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on the run button. All right, we can see that it is starting to execute. Let's give it a couple of seconds and perfect. So you can see that we have two facts about cats in French. I can't read it either. And we can even further extend this, right? So we can create another runnable, which is now going to talk to the Twitter API, right? And then post it, post that particular fact as a post, as a Twitter post basically, right? So you can see that Sky is the limit when it comes to working with chains, right? We can keep on adding more and more chains sequentially in a straight line, right? So that is what uh, sequential chaining is in a nutshell. So in the next section, we'll actually be looking at a type of chaining called parallel chaining. So I'll see you there.